If you're looking for a software that helps you to build your business, gives you funnels, courses, emails, calendars, a CRM, social media, and so much more, then my favorite platform is definitely Go Higher Level. And we have a series of videos on this channel that teach you how to use Go Higher Level, and this is one of them. Welcome. If it is your first time watching any one of my videos, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. On this channel, I teach you how to turn your courses or coaching programs into a recurring revenue system in your business. So don't forget that if you are looking to give Go High Level a try, my link is right below this video. Please go ahead and click that and we have a bunch of amazing bonuses um, for you should you use my link. In this mini tutorial, I wanna walk you through how to create products inside of Go High Level. Okay, so we are in the dashboard of Go High Level. So I'm inside one of the accounts that we have created for demonstration purposes, so there's nothing here uh, to see. So it gives me uh, the opportunity to be able to show you things properly and to build from scratch. So a product within this platform, I want you to think about a product as an individual product, right? I want, and I want you to think about an offer as a bundle of products. So one of the problems that I ran into when building my business is that sometimes I might create a lesson, right? Let's call the lesson a product. I might create a lesson or a series of lessons and I might want to have those series of lessons in multiple courses. Now, in the previous course platforms that I was using, in order to have those specific lessons in multiple programs and in multiple courses, I would have to upload those lessons over and over and over again into these individual lessons, which takes a ton of time and you lose your momentum because you are repeating tasks that should be simple. Now, what I love about this platform is that if you have something that you believe as you're planning your program and you perhaps you have a module that you think, oh, this is a key part of my business, right? I'm going to need to share this key part of my business, this key part of training in multiple pieces of trainings that different people would have purchased. Then you want to set that up as a product so that when you then later on create the offer, it's very easy to tie it all together and you don't need to keep re-uploading and re-uploading the same piece of content or worse, recreating the same piece of content that you had already created. So that, my friends, is the main difference between products and offers. Office. So let me talk you through offers before we move into actually creating something. I just want you to make sure that you understand the difference between the products and the offers. So we've talked about products, offers now. Offers can be created with multiple products or a single product, which means we need to begin by creating the products before we move into creating the offers. Now, offers are the things that are connected to your workflow, and that's why it's important to create your offers from your products. So this has to be done if you wanna uh, create workflows, create automations, and this is just how it works inside of the Go High Level platform, and I love it. Okay, so let's dive into creating a product together. Remember, you create a product first before you create offers. So products, hit the drop down, hit on products, and of course you are on this page. And um, click over here on the right-hand side at create products, and you have these four options. Let me walk you through what they are. Sprint course, these are short courses to build gateway to membership. So just think short courses, hence why it's called a sprint marathon uh, courses train and upskill your audience within your niche so these are for longer form courses now let me explain how I would recommend that you use this especially for those of you who are in coaching if you have a, a coaching program I highly recommend that you use the marathon uh, feature over here and you start building uh, based on that if you are doing just courses where there is very uh, little support and it's just a course uh, a low ticket course or it's just a course it doesn't matter the, the price then I would recommend recommend go with a sprint course. So I say courses over here and this really should be uh, for coaching. Over here you have memberships. Um, now of course memberships are anything that you have monthly where people are paying monthly and you are nurturing them then you want to obviously use this feature if you're building a membership. And over here you have build your own. You could also use this feature to build your own custom coaching program. You could or you could just use the marathon and make life easy for yourself. So to that respect, I'm gonna click on a marathon course and I'm going to click on start building. Now, the first thing you want to do is to name your products. It says, what is the name of your product? Let's say I have a coaching program and um, I have a name for it. So let's call this uh, ABC Coaching. All right, let's call this ABC Coaching for now. And I'm going to click on create product. 
So it's giving me a warning here. It says to collect payments from your customers, connect a payment processor like Stripe. So this is something that should have been done already, by the way, assuming you are going to be collecting payments directly um, from this platform. So let's imagine that that's done. You can see that everything, and this is what I love about this, everything has already been pre-positioned uh, uh, for you. The format is already there. So we know that this section is introduction and you have welcome to the course about your instructor outline and objectives so this is your mini chat gpt your mini ai if you like where it's already telling you here is what to put inside of your program don't you just love this so you click on outline which we are here and what you want to do is to click on everything so if i hover um over here for example and i click on introduction you can change the name for example so if i don't want to call this introduction i could call this start here um so uh put in start here um, add your description and then this is where your content lives for this section over here so you have welcome to the course if you don't have a welcome to the course or you don't want a welcome to the course you can very easily delete it if you don't want it there or you can preview if you click on the eye or you can click on this pencil and you can edit so if i click on this pencil and i edit i can very easily upload a video here by selecting video uploading a new file change uh, the uh, the title of this specific lesson, change the category of this lesson, and of course, add in any text that I want to describe this specific lesson. The other thing that I like about this as well is that you can add as many links as you need, which as we know is very, very important, especially for providing additional support. So I could put in, click here to schedule, whoopsie, if I can spell that it's schedule, oh, onboarding. For example, right? So I can put that in here. I can then grab a link and add the URL, which means that when people so add the URL here. So let's let me add my website address, for example. Uh, current window. I like to set it to open in a new window so that they don't disappear from where they are and start looking for it. Click save. Whoops, the URL we entered seems to be. Oh, it needs the HTTP. Okay, brilliant. Hold on. Do you want to add the required prefix? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Look at the help that it's giving me. So now I've had um, I've added a link. So if somebody clicks this link once it's live, of course they can schedule a course. So I can add a whole bunch of stuff that you can see. I can add images, etc. Whatever you choose to do, make sure you look over on this side, the right hand side, which is very, very important. So I'm over here on visibility. Make sure that it's unpublished. Otherwise, nobody will be able to see it. Make sure that you have a thumbnail. The sizing for the thumbnail is there. So you click on select image over here and you can add a template. Uh, pardon me, a thumbnail for this specific lesson, which is a very, very important. You can add uh, files, uh, for example, as well um, to the lesson, which will live there. Once you're done making all of the changes that you want to make, make sure you click on save over here and then of course uh, go back and keep it moving. Click through every single one of these and add what you need to add to make your program successful or remove whatever it is that you need to remove um, if you no longer need it. So this is for the outline of your program. Now, if I go over here to details of the program, this is very, very important. So I had already named my program ABC Coaching, for example, right? It's given you an example of what you could have there. And you can add a description for your program as well there. Now, this is very important. This is your product thumbnail. As I mentioned earlier, you can have there's no limit, there's no maximum to the amount of programs that you could have uh, within uh, this platform. So make sure that you have a thumbnail that tells people what it is that they are in, right? So if my program is called ABC Coaching or if my course is called ABC Courses, whatever it is, or Marketing Mastery in three uh, easy steps, whatever it's called, make sure that that is the name that is on the thumbnail so that people can tell it apart, right? From whatever else that they might have purchased from you. And the size, of course, that you need is over here and to do that you quickly select an image upload a file and voila it goes there you have many other options as well such as customization options you can choose which i love i think it's really really important to um add uh, details about the instructor which is or might be yourself right so here where it says instructor in structure instructor you could you could change that to head coach for example if you want to Add your headshot, so add a photo of yourself. I don't think uh, I'm on a new computer. I'm on a new iMac. I don't think I have any photos in here to add. Oh, I do. Let's see if this works. Hurrah. Upload. 
let's see oh voila i do have photos so there we are so there's a photo there that has gone in add your name add your title i'm just going to copy this and move this down add a bio for yourself you can have up to a thousand words which is it's up to you how much how many words you want to use and of course add a logo to the program or to your business etc add a favicon uh, 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 etc or a logo to the course you could add there etc and then of course you have advanced which is again the custom uh, javascript css which you might not want to use either way when you're done in this section you click on save and you are nearly on your way so we've done that i'm going to go back here so we've done outline we've done details and we're going to have a look at the rest of it moving forward okay so the next thing we want to do is to go to customize when you get to customize you have uh, some themes at the time of recording there are three uh, themes which are amazing and so i'm going to hit the first one which is the classic you can hit preview over here but i'm going to go straight to customize so that you can customize it to your own brand so if i hit on customize we have a few options the first thing we want to do is to look at the theme settings over here now this allows you to uh, change the colors so obviously this is a, a color that comes with the theme but over here if I wanted to I could try to uh, find something a little bit close to my brand color over there and then oopsie hold on that did not work so let me do that again let's try selecting this and clicking OK make sure you do that and then of course a secondary color I'm actually going to leave it as uh, black let's see what that looks like and your logo placement um, over here, it says, where do you want your logo? Do you want it in the header section or the hero um, section? And then you can choose your font over here. And you can choose a secondary font over here. I'm going to leave as is, but choose whatever you would like it to have. And then, of course, you have your background image, which is this background image over here um, that you can upload. So if I click on this, I then um, select the color um, over here. Uh, let me actually, I'm going to leave as is. Um, but if I click, you can select the color, whatever works for you. And you can then choose file and upload an image. And once you have uploaded something, actually, let me see if I can upload. Let me see if this works. This is for my other brand. Let's click on upload, see if that works. Oh, I think it has. Wonderful. Make sure you click on save at changes over there. Let's see. Ah, interesting. So here it is. So it's put the branding right behind um, here. Okay, so in this section here, be careful because this image here is for the background. So I have just uploaded this logo. And if I scroll up and down, you can see that it's here in the background. It's obviously not the right size, hence why it looks pixelated. I'm doing this for the purpose of this recording, just so that you can see that it goes right in the background. Once you have done any changes over here, make sure you click on save over there. Okay, so that was me in the layout section, which is the layout that people see. So you can see that I had added some brand colors. So I added this pink to, um, uh, to coincide something a little bit closer to my brand color. However, there are some further changes that you can make. If you go here to sections over here, you can see that you can change the header. So I could change this header over here. So if you'd like to change this image over here, be careful, it's not the header that you're looking for. It's the hero image that you're looking for. And because you have the text in the middle and the button here i mean you can get rid of the text if you wanted to you want to have something you know a bit of a planar image with no text so for example let me show you what i mean if i click over here on this image to upload something on my hero image um in that section here and i click on choose file and let's say i chose i don't have anything plain here unfortunately to show you but let's say i chose something with text so this clearly has text in the middle right and i click on open and i click on upload Let's see what that does. And I click on save changes. Let's see what that does. Can you see that it's put it right there? So there's a clash, right? There's a clash because this has the logo that I put up. Number one is not the right size. So it's very pixelated. And number two has text. And so there's a clash here. So you want to make sure that for your hero image that you put something a little bit plainer. Or if you want something larger, make sure that you align it properly so that there isn't an overlap with the text over here and the start course button right here in the middle. So I'm going to remove this. So if it doesn't work, just simply click on remove because I can see that that doesn't work. Click on save changes and it reverts back to um, what it was before. Now moving down, you can uh, work on your spacing if you want to. Um, you can um, work on your title, the font, change the colors a little bit more, your description, the font, change the color, change the size, your button. It says start course, you could change to start here. 
for example, if you wanted to, if I click on save changes, let's see if that changes for me. Yep, start here, that has changed. So you can pretty much change everything. So I really recommend going through all of the um, options and changing everything to your brand color. Uh, you have progress color over there. Just change everything to something that you are completely happy with. Upload any images that you are um, happy with and, you know, and all of that. And when you're done, make sure that you hit save changes over here. The other thing you want to do is to, so this is the product section. You could also have a look over here in the lesson section um, over here, which has its own set of settings, which I love. So it just means that you can completely customize everything um, to work for your brand. So it's completely on brand. So I'm on lessons and right here on the left hand side, you can see that I, again, I have the option for a header. Again, I have the option for the lesson body and I can change all the colors, the font, the sizes, should I want to, for example, I can do all of that good stuff. Course navigation, I can change all of that very, very easy um, to do. And of course the instructor section on the lesson section can be changed right here as well. And once you're done, make sure you hit save changes and you are done. Now, if we head back to gallery and head all the way back, we will see that we have used this classic um, theme over here. And if you were doing this in real time, I assume you have made all the changes that you need to make. So let's move forward. So if we head back over here to the navigation and the product um, section, we can see that I have a product here. I have a course here or a program. And if I had uploaded my image, then the image would be showing um, here, um, essentially. So if I click into this, you can see that I literally have my program already laid out for me. And as you know, and as I mentioned before, to change any of these things, you simply click into any of them, upload your video, um, change the course title, um, change the category should you want to, change um, any of the text should you want to. And of course, on the right hand side, make sure that you have hit published because if you hit draft, nobody will be able to see it but yourself. But if it's published, then your clients have access to this. Change the thumbnail over here by clicking um, over here and uploading a new file adding any files that this specific lesson or course needs or program needs, and then of course, hitting save. Now, going back, should you want to add more sections um, to this, you simply click on the plus button over here and it gives you the options. You can add a lesson, you can add a subcategory, you can add an assessment even um, for your program. And of course you can delete and move things up and down um, as you wish as well. So it couldn't be any simpler to create a course or a coaching program um, right here on this platform. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm gonna head back over to products. Um, over here and there are so many things that you can um, do in this section over here you can do um, sorting and um, you can also manage comments over here so if I click over here if I had had comments onto uh, for this specific program I would see and manage my comments in this section there is one more thing I want to show you and if you hover over the product and you hover over these three dots over here there are certain things you can do you can preview the product you can edit the details of the product from here you can also clone the product which is very very important if you want to create a second version of the course or your program and you find that that you only need to make some small changes to the new version then you want to clone the whole thing instead of recreating the whole thing from scratch so I love that so you can clone and then of course over here you can share over here if you uh, click on this as well thank you so much for watching this tutorial I hope you got incredible value and you were able to build along with me give me a comment below and let me know how you got on and any questions that you might have I really hope you like go high level because I absolutely love it and if you want to check it out there is a link below this video uh, with a trial so that you can check that out I'll see you in the next video